Step three in building an investment program is to measure performance. I cannot overemphasize the importance of doing this step. And most investors will get excited about picking stocks, picking mutual funds, and get excited when things go up and upset when things go down. But really measuring performance is about a relative measure, right? And I want to illustrate that concept because it's very important. And most institutional investors use the concept of relative performance to measure success. And most individual investors, unfortunately, use uh, more of an absolute terms. And I think that's unfortunate and it causes a, a lot of confusion and, and problems for, for individual investors by not taking this approach. So I want to illustrate this conceptually here and give an example. So again, we're going to use this active versus passive management. Let me use this example that I used previously. You have two choices. You invest in JP Morgan equity income, which is a team run by JP Morgan folks that is trying to select the best U.S. large cap value stocks. And here is the return of that mutual fund after fees over this various time frames. In 2009, returned 17.3%. In 2013, 31%. If you were an owner of JP Morgan's equity income fund, you'd be pretty happy as an individual investor. You said, you know, my money is making money. I'm making more than the bank is the typical uh, phrase that I hear from investors. They're, they're doing a good job. They're smart people, right? Well, really, the, the, the right analysis of comparison of comparing JP Morgan is to compare it against the alternative investment that would invest in all large cap value in the US. And iShares is one of a few of these mutual funds or ETFs that does that. So you can see that iShares, IWD symbol, returned 19% in 2009, returned 32% in 2013. So it also has done pretty well. So if you were an investor in IWD, you might be happy as well. But the comparison should be this. You should take the return of the active manager minus the return of the passive manager, which is IWD. Passive means they're investing in everything. Active means they're investing in a few and a subset of everything. And you should calculate that. So for example, in 2009, JP Morgan did not do well. They underperformed by 1.7%. In 2010 and 2011, they did extremely well. Actually, plus 7% is, is pretty good compared to the to the passive alternative. But in 2012 and 2013, they've underperformed. They have not done well. So if you were an investor in JP Morgan, you did not do well despite uh, having a 31% return because that doing well should be is a relative term. And the relative, the comparison should be against the alternative uh, equivalent passive product, which in this case, IWD is appropriate given what JP Morgan team is trying to do. So I think in conclusion, when you're measuring performance, you should not think about it in absolute terms. It does not matter that JP Morgan returned 30% and it did better than the bank in an, an absolute basis is a good thing. What should matter is the relative return, which comparing the act actively uh, active manager to the passive manager is an analysis that you can easily do because every active manager has a passive uh, equivalent alternative that you can compare to. So I hope you do this. It's important to do this uh, at least quarterly, if not at least once a year, to answer the basic, just but deceivingly difficult question to answer, which is how well did I do? How well did my investments do?